What is going on here too? If you are new here, my name is Captain Charlie and today we are looking at something super incredible. My cr third Christmas present. And that third Christmas present I actually just got last night. And I got home around 7.30 p.m. And I had to set it all up because I was too excited. So, I have it all, almost all set up. But these other four things, I'm going to have you guys choose. So, without further ado... Let's get into the Gemini Jets Deluxe Terminal. Now, all these gates are nowhere near filled with airplanes, but I do not have the map for it yet. Um, but this is a picture that you saw on Instagram that I kind of zoomed in on just like that so you guys can see. But on this, this is Airport Terminal 22 gates. So, let's get into it. We're going to be starting off. This size of this terminal is colossal. It has all these gates. So, what we're going to be starting with over here is the runway. I built this runway. It has all the um, PP lights on it, the PEP lights, so it can, the airplanes can see where they're going. And then over here, we have a UPS 747. And this is all Gemini jet airplanes. 400. You're going to be departing um, out, out of here. So, this will be taking off very shortly, and it's going to be going to Fort Myers Airport out over there, because uh, it has to deliver some cargo out to there in Florida. All right, now we're going to be starting all the way, all the way at the end of the terminal. See, these gates on here, I'm going to let you choose what airplanes go there and what sign. So, they are just completely empty right now, but... And this is a gate sticker, by the way, that it comes with. It has all the gates. I'm still trying to decorate it all. Sorry for the bad camera footage. Now, and the gates may not all be aligned. I mean, that's that's just how it goes because this is super hard to do. Gemini is not very, I mean, they're good, but anyway. This is a United gate. And over here we have a United 777-300ER. Um, they are coming out with the new United livery. So I'm happy to see 9 triple seven three hundred ER out there on the terminal. Over here we have an empty United gate. As you can see, it says United on there. And over here they have retired this aircraft, but over here is another United gate. It is a United Q400. Um, I'm going to keep this in there until I can build my United Express fleet a little bit. And then over here we have another United, an uh, empty United gate, if you can see. So as you know, down there, I'm going to move into the other terminal. Like, sorry, I got to go around. Over here, we have this gate here. And this is an American Airlines gate, an empty one for a CRJ200. This one's for a 737. Not too much in the American terminal, but over here is the bigger gate. And we have an American 7878 Dreamliner in the terminal right now. And then we move over to Delta. So right here we have a small Delta Connection CRJ700 Bombardier at Delta Gate 1. And then we, this is another empty Delta Gate. Another empty Delta Gate. And those are two empty Delta Gates. Over here we have an empty Southwest Gate. Another empty Southwest Gate. And then all the way down there is an empty Southwest Gate. And now I have to move again because again... And then there's, and there's, and over, starting over here, there is an Alaskan Airlines gate. Um, for Alaska. Um, then there right here, starting, is an Iberia A321neo. Um, it's a, at the Iberia gate. And this gate right here is a jet blue gate for an A320. This Virgin Atlantic 787 Dreamliner. Is oh I forgot to name where they're all heading out to. This United 777 is heading out to Honolulu, Hawaii. This one is just heading out to uh, LaGuardia, New York. This you uh, this American 787 Dreamliner is heading out to Houston, Texas, its home base, and this Delta Connection is heading out to Atlanta. All right, so then we named them all. And this Iberia is stopping. Um, I think it's heading out to California. Um, stopping in Atlanta. 
Um, then we have Virgin Atlantic 787 Dreamliner heading out to London Heathrow. And then here comes the giant airplanes. We have the British Airways A380. Now I'm going to get down for this one because there is three jet bridges. See, this one is an override. I'm not going to touch any of it because it's so fragile. And if it breaks, then I don't have another one to replace it. So it's, it's kind of aligned good. Um, but this guy is heading out to London Heathrow as well because it's a home base for British Airways. And over here, we have another three-way body jetway for Emirates Airlines. Um, this guy is heading out to Dubai, uh, Dubai. And then over here, our last airplane on the terminal is an EVA Air, Airbus A330-300 Hello Kitty Inverted. Um, it's heading out to Japan because in Japan, it's made from Japan Hello Kitty. So, um, so this one's heading out to Japan. Um, they're one of their bigger airports. So this is the deluxe terminal, but let me just show you something real quick. So for about 30 seconds, I'm going to blind the screen, and this airport's going to turn into night mode. Um, and then all the lights will show on the terminal because it comes with lights. All right, so 30 seconds is starting now while I turn on all the lights. Sorry for the horrible footage, but I'm doing it on purpose. So that you can see how this terminal looks. I'm gonna hit off the lights again. All right, guys, ready to see something really cool? All the lights are on, but when I turn them off in three, two, one, magic. This is a terminal lit up at night. All these lights shine in. It's just like a real airport terminal, but it has like the gate at it. Let's look at an airplane with the gate at it from first person view. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. That's pretty darn cool. And I like how that other center line lights light up and the whole terminal is just all lit up. Isn't that cool? That's just incredible. And now, I will transform the terminal back to normal mode. And no, this video is not just about that. Not just about my third Christmas present, but Sorry for the blindness of the screen, but overall I need to talk to you guys about something else. So, what's in that? So, on January 3rd, I'm taking off on United Airlines with my dad to go on a trip. Now, right there is a big thing on a trip. That's right. Where are we going? We are going to Washington, D.C. to see the Smithsonian Museums out there. And we're going to go also visit a couple towns out there and see the White House. So, that's where we're going there. Now, second of all... I am taking a ton of pictures, and if you guys like this video, I'll make an entire YouTube video about it. And also, announcement about that. All of those pictures will be on my Instagram, PilotCharlie07. Make sure to go follow that, because that is super important to me, and it will make sure that you, you all are very amazing, and that this is my favorite Christmas present, because it's so amazing i love this terminal um but make sure to go f take out because there will be the picture of the concord on there everything dallas airport united airlines i'll probably make an entire youtube video on it while i'm there but next thing i want to make sure you guys know itty bitty airport is still on i think you guys forgot about it but no um itty bitty airport is a great game um i have played on it for so long now i have a million things. I have the large room. I have millions of gates. I have security, like five or ten towers, like it's in cargo terminals. Like, so make sure if you like this video, I'm gonna do another part two on the ADBD airport. And that is the runway. This is the runway overview of the entire terminal. And I'm gonna show you how detailed these jetways are. So each and every single jetway is. A movable and adjustable and each and every one can go up a little bit down a little bit forward sideways and I mean that just fell out so I mean it's just kind of difficult to do all this stuff but the deluxe terminal overall I'm gonna review it it is incredible I would say half the way incredible 
um, this terminal really has put a lot in the hard work. And uh, this gate right here is an HSBC. Um, and then over here is going to be a stair gate, I think, right there in that spot. And these gates have the airline logos on them, so you can stick with everything. But these things right on top of this, right, right here, that thing, that is for like the little A7, A7. You know how hard it is though? It takes me a while to stick all these stickers on them because it's just super hard. Um, to stick all the stickers on them, and then it's just annoying. Um, but if you guys like this video, make sure that I get likes on it. Number two, there will be this is just the first series of this airport, there will be new airplanes being added to this, and it will fill all of these gates every single gate will be filled by the time you guys come back and there will be cargo terminals there will be stair gates all along here this tail may be painted so you know anything's possible with this airport but right now i just wanted to show you my third christmas present and it is probably my favorite one and also i only got three things because this one is super duper expensive i just showed you why it's super duper expensive these gates this couple of these cost $25, so you could get the idea if that multiply that by 22. I mean, yeah. So, this is a really, this is my favorite Christmas present, I mean, for this year. I mean, I did spend all, all my money on it, so that's how I got it. I finally got it. I've been wanting it for a long time. Really long time. And I like how you can just do a lot of things with it. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching, taking the time to watch this video and looking at this new Gemini Jets Deluxe Terminal. If you want to go buy one for yourself, if you are interested in airplanes, just let me know in the comments below. Um, I know where they are at, and I have a store that I go to every day. Mm, no, not every day, but once in a while. And I get airplanes there and Gemini Jet stuff in the next collectible show. I believe it's in May. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.